Hello everyone, it's your boy Itachi. Um, this is a video that I think I've made a while back, but it's a vinyl record video. Um, uh, you know, showing you guys my vinyl record collection. I have a little collection. Um, since I made that video a while back, I don't know if I still have it or I deleted it. I have no clue. But I think I might have put like a uh, music people inside there, and it made it like um, made, made it copyright or whatever. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm gonna be showing you guys my vinyl record collection. I have some newer artists in here, got some old artists, got some um, vinyls that are like, I have no clue where they came from or whatever, some secret vinyls. I also do have like CD, uh, like a CD in here. Uh, let's just get into it. Um, first off, we have Post Malone. I forget what this um, album is called. I just love this album. Absolutely love it. The glare, sorry for the glare. We have it right here. Then we have like all the time stamps for the songs back here. And all the artists that are on the time stamps are in here. Then we have, oh, I think this is the name right here. Sorry for guys for the glare. We got that. Absolutely love it. Post Malone is one of my most favorite, is one of my favorite artists. Let's take one of these things out. Don't want to ruin it. Blue vinyl. I love this. It's like a classic blue vinyl. Um, I wish, um, in my opinion, if I was gonna make a vinyl like this and I had like this inside, I would have made it like silver or like a liquid silver. If you guys know what I'm talking about. But I love this. Love this. This has the weekend in it. Um, Post Malone. Um, I actually love this. This album. So we're gonna go to a CD. I have the Travis Scott um, album right here. It it has Fiend. It has a couple other ones. Uh, Fiend is his most popular one on here. There's like a scary picture of Travis Scott. You know what I mean? It's normal Travis Scott. You got this back here. Love this. I think it came out last year or the year before. I'm gonna do this quick because I don't think I have any storage. Um, you give good love. Um, oh, this is Whitney Houston. This is a an old Whitney Houston vinyl. I've never read it. Whitney Houston. This is a classic Whitney Houston vinyl. This was probably I don't know. I don't know when. But like this is an old Whitney Houston. I I love Whitney Houston. I found this in like a box in my um my old like my um uh, my family stuff collection stuff. So I'm just like I have a vinyl player. There's Edge of a Broken Heart edition. Vika Vika Vika. I don't know what that says. Um yeah i got these i don't know when they were released but these are like old albums or whatever next we have scissor we have scissor scissor is um i started listening to scissor her album this is really cool I like the computers in the background it has the weekend in it somewhere i i fell in love with this because it looks like a christmas it looks like a Christmas vinyl, not gonna lie. It has green on one side, it has, it's an all green vinyl or, or a record, then it, when you flip it over, it's red, green. Love this, absolutely love Power it. Power off. Absolutely love it, sorry, that was my stand that I stand my phone on, it's Bluetooth. Put this back, I love this. I think this came back, uh, came out a while ago. You guys comment down below what your favorite records and stuff like that is. You know what I mean? I love this. Next is Michael Bublé. We have Michael Bublé. It's a Christmas. Michael Bublé. Sorry, I had to stop it because, you know, I don't know if I have that much storage. I have a Christmas Michael Bublé. I love Michael Bublé. Um, he has, when you open it, comes with a like a little thing. This is the classic Michael Bublé. Well, classic Michael Bublé comes with like a little, like a little poster. 
Um, where it shows like all his music and stuff like that. It's like a little mini poster. It's really cool. And then the vinyl is like a. This is what I wish that the Post Malone record would have looked like. The vinyl would have looked like. It would have been a whole lot cleaner. And Michael Blue Blade Christmas. It has begun to look like Christmas. Santa Claus is coming to town. And you know, so on. I absolutely love vinyls. Um, I, I I bought these ones at Walmart, the ones that I'm showing you guys now at Walmart. You can't really get them anywhere else unless you have a record store that's like that's like it carries like old records and newer records. You know what I mean? I also do want to get me a crate for these because I don't want to ruin them. Because if I move out, if I move out, I want to have room for my vinyls stuff like that. Next one is Purple Rain. This is the limited edition Purple Rain um, vinyl. Um, I'm not gonna take this out because I haven't taken it out in a while. It has Purple Rain and then it has Prince in a, a suit with like in a line with three other people. It comes with a poster. Um, it's absolutely cool. I think this was the last one I bought. This was the last one at Walmart and I was lucky enough to buy it. I love Prince, I love Kiss. Um, his song Kiss, Purple Rain, Dove, Dove's Cry. There's a whole bunch of other ones I don't remember because um, I have a bad memory. But yeah, next we have Travis Scott Rodeo. Love this, love the art in the front. You know, got that Travis Scott, you know, you got all those. A, B, C, D, the songs. I'm trying to speed race this so I don't have to you got Road. One of these have Rodeo in it. You know, his action figure, his old action figure. I want to actually buy his action figure. His action figure is actually really cool. If anyone knows where you can buy his action figure, his action figure, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Ugh, bro, every time this, they, they slam on the bottom of the vinyl case, I get scared. Some other reason. That's one. We got this. Um, these are ones that I bought at like an old, old record store. Where I bought it at an old record store. Uh, I have not opened this. I have not played it yet. My mom picked this up because me and my mom went into a um, vinyl store. Or me and her together. And I got ones that I know. There was only like three that I saw that I knew uh, that were there. And then... um. My mom picked out this one, but she she knows that I like old stuff, but I don't know these people. So yeah, I don't want to open that. Foreigners, I only know a couple of songs by Foreigners. You know what I mean, you get Foreigners in the background. I don't, I'm not opening this because I've never opened it before. Next one, Stevie Wonder, the goat himself. The goat himself. Stevie Wonder. He's the reason why I started making music. Him, Tyler the Creator, Weekend. Actually, Tyler the Creator uses some of Stevie Wonder's stuff in his music, which I really like. That's why I, that's why I like um, uh, Tyler the Creator sometimes because he uses some of Stevie Wonder's tactics in his um, in his music. That's why I really like him uh, when he does that. So this is Stevie Wonder. There's um, Party Time Lover. Uh, some people say it's a dark song, but I don't know. It's, it's one of my favorites. New edition. New edition, they're coming back too. New edition, they're old now, no offense. New edition, uh, they're old. Um, they have Bobby Brown in it. Bobby Brown split up from new edition and made his own empire and whatever, uh, and stuff like that, and whatever. Uh, these guys were like really big in like 80s, 90s? Well, no, they started like when they were kids. 70s, 80s, 90s, all the way to 2000s, to the 2000s, I believe, down around where, like, Michael Jackson was. I believe Bobby Brown was dating Michael Jackson's sister, I believe, I think, one of the people from New Edition was uh, dating Bobby Brown's, um, was um, dating um, Michael Jackson's sister, um, and then Bobby Brown um, married Whitney Houston, and then Whitney Houston died, 
and it was a whole thing. All right, Peter Whitney Houston. Um, Chicago, Chicago's a classic. Haven't opened it because, you know, plastic. I have not opened it. These these are worth money. So the ones are worth that are worth money. Um, I, I keep it the plastic. Um, we got Bruce Springsteen. Love him. We got the um, the nostalgic um, American flag in the background with the hat in the back. You know what I mean? That's that's what um, he's known for. When you think of Bruce Springsteen, people think of this. And um, this this was a meme at one time. I don't know why. This was a meme at one time during um, the pandemic or during 2022 or 2023. There was a, there was a um, meme about this. It was a short meme. It didn't really last long. But I love Bruce Springsteen. Tom Petty. I think I know who Tom Petty is. This was another one my mom grabbed when we went to a vinyl store. I don't really know who Tom Petty is. I could listen to him. I've never really opened up this thing either. It's, yeah, I've never really opened it up. It has, I guess that's Tom Petty. Um, but I never really listened to his music before. I guess I don't really listen to people's music that I don't know, but you know, it's always nice to listen to people's music that, you know, try to get introduced to new music. We got these guys right here love these guys these guys right here made um um recorded this album in um i think it's hold on it's on here hollywood recording hold on hold on, hold on. motown records motown records was if you don't know what motown records is hold on had to stop again because of my storage. Uh, if you don't know what Motown Records is, Motown Records was, so during back in like 70s, 80s, 70s, 60s, in the 80s, um, you know, segregation was going on. Well, not the 80s, I don't think segregation was segregation in the 80s. Well, anyway, what segregation was going on and people were like, uh, they didn't like um, African-Americans, black people, performing in white places they were just like hey we don't like you we don't want you to record here in the studio nah so musicians didn't really have a lot of options to record music motown records was a place where african americans and black people can come and express their music um their, their art of music and that's in a couple of famous um singers went to what went to motown and they got really big hits like um there's a couple of them i'll probably put them somewhere on the screen um probably if editor me will even do it um but people that went to motown and motown became a really big place and i think motown is still standing to this day as a studio for um for an everyone for everyone's studio since segregation is not a thing anymore so I love Motown. I love the history of Motown. Uh, and I really appreciate what Motown did for artists because if Motown didn't exist, we wouldn't have people like this. They wouldn't have an album. Some people that got big in Motown wouldn't be famous without Motown. So I really appreciate Motown. Thank you, Motown. We got another Foreigners. The last two. We got last Foreigners. I don't really know this. I always say that this looks a little weird and sus. Um, I didn't, I don't really, I didn't really open this. I didn't really open this, uh, yet. Um, this right here looks like Mike Dean. If you don't know who Mike Dean is, I think that's his name. Mike Dean, um, is a guy who plays with The Weeknd, um, performs with The Weeknd, and he does, like, piano and, like, piano stuff, I think. He does, like, piano and he does, like, system tech stuff for the weekend and he looks just like him looks just like mike dean i'm not gonna lie um yeah so foreigners this last one is my favorite we have the woman in red soundtrack which was produced which was um was music was produced all the music was produced by stevie wonder this has i called to say i love you no no, no. I just called to say I love you, which is my most favorite song. My most favorite song in here. My boy Stevie Wonder in there. The Woman in Red. It has like all the credits and stuff like that. I've read all these. It's absolutely cool. It has the timestamps, the words, and stuff like that. It has Stevie Wonder. 
John Mayer, The Woman in Red, Stevie Wonder, Jack Frost, uh, Sanders, whatever, uh, Victor D, whatever, Stevie Wonder, another Stevie Wonder, whatever. You know, my boy Stevie Wonder was a talent, is a talented guy. For him being blind, he's a very talented man. So yeah, guys, this is my video, my uh, record collection. Will summertime comes around again, or if I get money during that time before summertime comes, um, I'll show you guys more vinyls and more records. But this is just a vinyl record um, video. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, show you guys my records again because I think I deleted the video a while back. But um, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe to join our channel, to join our family here on YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.